And now would be a really good time for my AC to cut on. Let me get my notes together because I know I'm Hey guys, this out. is Lisa with Geek Girl Finds. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, while you're here, don't forget to subscribe. Please hit that like button and leave a comment down below. Also ring the notification bell to get notifications about future videos I put out. So today what I want to talk about, a lot of y'all know I've been doing kind of keto, keto light for quite some time now, um, and I've had some good success. Um, nothing to complain about. It's definitely helped me with um, inflammation, uh, major reduction inflammation, like I'm able to work out again, like things are a lot better in my life. Um, at first I was just more mindful of cutting down on the carbs. Um, being more mindful about what I put in my body and then I started paying more attention to the amount of calories daily so and then I started noticing better results and then I started adding working out into all of that and started noticing more and more better results and so I've been pretty happy with it but I've been doing a lot of research lately oh also if you're not aware what keto is keto you can probably google it or search all over YouTube um, there's a ton of people talking about it uh, but ketogenic diet keto lifestyle is basically where you're eating um, let's say like 75 percent of your food intake needs to be healthy fats concentrating on healthy fats um, and then, you know, the other portion, moderate on the proteins and a very low amount of carbs in your diet. Um, basically what I do, I go, I'm extreme, um, as of lately. I, and even when, even before I kind of went extreme, I did, I did at least a minimum of less than 20 grams of carbs a day. I'm currently doing anywhere in, under nine. I rarely hit 10. Um, so, which it's hard to do because some of the vegetables that you need, you know, to eat because you just can't just live on bacon and eggs, um, those vegetables do have carbs, but I'm learning not to worry about that so much. So, what I did after some research, I wanted to add in the intermittent fasting into my ketogenic lifestyle, which has been very good for me. I was reading a lot about the benefits of ketogenic fasting, such as uh, cell renewal, um, also good for your brain. Um, they've been, it's, studies have shown like kids with epilepsy, it works really well for them. Um, just the health, health benefits just seemed fantastic. And I was like, well, let's give it a try. So last weekend, after maybe like four days of hardcore research, I gave it a go and I started on a Saturday and the first day I did, um, what is it, 16 hours of no eating and then a window of eight. Um, and then I think I did that Monday, or no, I did that Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday I jumped it up to 18 hours um, with, you know, a smaller eating window and then jumped it up to 19 and I ended out the week doing a 19 hour eating window a 19 hour fast with a six hour feeding window um, now during those windows I did not go wild um, I and it's it, it, it fitting all your food and your dietary needs into a six hour window is not easy I found um, you might be hungry when you get out of that fast, but at the same time, you don't want to eat too much too fast. You want to kind of ease into eating for the day and because your stomach will hurt. <laughs> so anyways, it was, it was almost like an endurance, you know, to see what I could do. And it was also retraining my brain to look at food differently. Um, not as such an emotional aspect to food, but to look at it as fuel for my body and I've got to say the results were insane um, I wrote an email making a list of my results so these are things that I've noticed and I, I took I made track of a lot of this stuff my blood pressure which was it you know, on any given day it could be high to borderline high um, it's down to normal levels for my age range everything. It's down to completely normal 
Um, so that's a huge win for just a week. Um, I didn't have any really wild cravings during that time. It's, I don't know, something just switched in my head and I'm just like, Lisa, this is what we're doing. And I, I would have moments of like where my stomach would start to growl during the fasting periods, but it wasn't anything like drinking a big glass of water wouldn't fix, you know, or some green tea or whatever. I mean, it was fine. As soon as I'd have that, I'd be okay for a few more hours. Um, now, if it was like, there were times like Jason would be cooking something or he was eating something and I, it was during my non-eating time, that was kind of hard. Just smelling the food was an issue. But, you know, you move past it. Um, as I was saying earlier, this allowed me to focus more on the nutrients I'm putting in my body, making sure I'm getting those greens, um, those fibrous like type vegetables like broccoli, spinach, uh, avocados, things like that, um, and just being more hyper aware than I already was about what I was putting in my body. And I was still keeping to my calorie restriction uh, during that time as well. So I was doing the intermittent fasting while still on the keto while but sticking to around 1300 uh, gram or 1300 calories a day so i really thought that was going to be tough now what was tough about that was fitting in what i needed into that amount of calories as far as my nutrients for the day in a short amount of time so i honestly ended up eating less i mean who knew um let's see here so um my memory my memory seemed way more improved. I'm usually quite a bit scattered, and I was very hyper-focused on what needed to be done. I was able to remember things better, so that was a huge improvement because I'm just, my memory's garbage. Um, inflammation seemed to even get better. I wasn't having some of the swelling in my joints like after workouts. Um, I just, I felt lighter on my toes. I, I just felt better. I don't know how else to describe it. Now, a lot of people complain about doing the intermittent fasting or any type of fasting. It's the headaches you can get. I only got headaches two nights. And after some quick research, I realized I needed to add a little bit more salt. So I added more like pink salt, the pink Himalayan salt to my water. And adding those minerals and the salt to the water helped immensely. So, you know, the big thing with this is stay hydrated. I was drinking so much water. I felt like I was peeing all day long. Still am. Um, so, I already covered. I started at a 16-hour fast, 8-hour eating window. Ended at a 19-hour fast with a 6-hour eating window. It was easy. Oh, another big thing. My pulse is usually pretty high, um, whether it's just due to anxiety or just no, I wasn't being healthy, uh, what I was putting in my body. Um, and for the first time since I don't know how when my pulse is sitting around anywhere from 65 to 70, where normally it's at 90, my resting pulse. That's insane for me. I can't, I was probably in high school last time that happened. So that is another very positive side effect. Um, what else? Um, oh, and yes. Um, I, so the really thing that I'm excited about, other than these amazing others, you know, things that happened as a result of this, I lost, well, actually, as of this morning, it, it was two and a half inches, but when I did it uh, Saturday, when I kind of weighed in and whatever, I lost two inches in my waist, which was phenomenal. And I lost a whopping eight pounds. I actually think it was closer to nine because I know TMI, but I was on my cycle. So I was a little swollen and whatever. You know how it is, ladies. Um, but uh, yeah, so I know that's an insane amount of weight loss for just a week. But I mean, I have a lot of weight to lose. And so I think in my situation, like just being so militant about it and just being so extra careful, I, it really paid off. And, we, and when you are bigger and you become real strict, you are going to lose weight faster. I mean, it just is what it is. I know at some point this will hit a table. It'll slow down. I'll have to work even harder. But 
I've been working out, like I said, doing the calorie, watching my calories, um, doing the keto diet, and, the, and then adding this intermittent fasting just really stepped things into high gear this last week. And so the next thing I wanted to do was graduate to do a 24-hour fasting window. Could I do it? Um, so yesterday I ate my last meal at 11 a.m. <laughs> it was basically brunch and had a big breakfast with Jason, all keto, no, no biscuits or anything, not that exciting. Um, and I just ate my first meal in that 24 hours just a little while ago. So I lasted for 24 hours. I didn't know if I could do it. Um, so I'm pretty proud of myself, but I'll have an eating window today. Like I ate my first meal today at noon. Actually, so I went 26 hours. But I ate today at noon, so I'll probably eat until, or allow myself to eat until 5 p.m. today. And then I'll just do the rest of the week on the intermittent fast. But I will do an update video next Monday and let you guys know what's happening. Um, again, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a health professional. I just do a lot of research and um, I just, I, I need to find ways to become more healthy, have a healthier lifestyle, um, not only just for my body, but just it helps me feel better about myself and helps a lot with just, you know, anxiety issues and depression and stuff like that. So it was just something I needed to do. Um, I'm not under a doctor's care. So if you have questions about that, I don't, I don't have insurance. So I'm not under any doctor's care, which is another reason why I really have, have been working on, you know, adding these new choices and lifestyles into my life is because I don't have health insurance. Um, I, and, and I don't want to be on a bunch of drugs and medications either, but I knew the way my life was going, I was probably going to end up in the hospital and dead of a heart attack at any given moment. So it was just, it was starting to get scary for me. So, but anyways, these are just my thoughts um, on the journey I've been on so far, and I'm really psyched about intermittent fasting. I'd kind of like done it before, but it was like 12 hours you know, not really pushing my limits, but I want to say for me personally, it was so worth it. I've got a little kitty here. So, but anyways, I just wanted to touch base with you guys, let you know what's going on with me. If you have any uh, suggestions or questions, I can try to answer them the best I can. Um, leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.